What's up, guys? Five old mates. Toby. Whatever. How's everybody doing? I know it is, uh, what's the day? Wednesday? Thursday. Close to the weekend, baby. Close to the weekend. Uh, today, remember last time we talked about the, uh, bite has been on a shaky head. Or a spot remover. That's another thing. Uh, that worm that I made in the last video. I use spot removers a lot on that one. I count that as a shaky head. So anyway. Uh, sorry for the fan noise. We're going to talk about these today. They're on right now. They are on fire. Uh, green pumpkin. A little bit of orange has been really good. And we're going to talk about the trailers that I like to use. And how I like to set my jigs up i have these ready because we have a little tournament saturday and i'm probably gonna go fish tomorrow but the jig bikes turned on uh seems the hotter it gets the better it gets um different sizes i have a finesse type and a bigger heavier i like the three eighths right now just dragging it there's several ways to fish jigs if you're a jig fisherman let me know what how you like the fish uh everybody fishes different um I'm going to show you some of the trailers that I like. What I like about them, don't like about them, blah, 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 all that good crap. And uh, how I like to set them up. Uh, if you do not, you can go buy them at the store. I like handmade. I like hand tied. Uh, my buddy JKH Custom Jigs hand ties. I did go buy one the other day. Saw it at work. I was like, mm, i got to try it. So, anyway. This is the Do It Eye Crawl. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, little three and a half. Cool little. I love to use this one on my more finesse jigs, the smaller type jigs, maybe. Um, I'll trim these. I'll cut the small. It should get smaller at the end. I need a white background. It gets a little smaller. I usually cut it about right there, cut that off. That way I have a little more meat to hook on. And it's not perfectly round. I like that. It doesn't take up as much room on the hook, especially on your finesse ones. Uh, there's times I like the finesse jigs more. Um, it's a little lighter wire hook. You don't have to quite fish full on, medium heavy, you know, or heavy. Um, I like them at times. You can go with a softer tip. Don't have to set it quite as hard. These, I try to hammer them. I, you know, I don't play with them. They boom, boom. There's a lot of discussion about, well, I watch a lot of videos and stuff. But anyway, let me get back to this real quick. We'll get back to that. Uh, love the little eye crawl. thing I don't like about it is where the, come here, you. I don't like where the connection is here. It's really small. Come on now, give me some light. And sometimes these do tear off sort of easy. But these are great on a net bait, anything. Um, like that one, my favorite is the hula grub, four inch hula grub. Again, if it's too much for you, or too, boom, cut a little bit of it off. I love the hula grub. It just seems to be perfect size. This comes out. I haven't even trimmed this jig up, but I did trim the weed guards. We'll go over that too. Um, but I love the hula grub. By uh, this is Angling AI. Uh, there's a bunch of other I love other companies that make some type of twin tail grub. Uh, I like the smaller, thinner appendages. Less plastic, less stuff to get in the way of say the uh, the ecto crawl has the big claw. You know. There's a lot of plastic that can get in the way there. And I also live, oh, here they go. What they mold these I shot, but all these are green pumpkin because nothing special, but to me it is because that is the fish catcher. I don't even measure green pumpkin. I go till it's thick. So for a cup, I may put, I don't know what would be equivalent to 50 drops. And I use Little Works 109. Bottle looks rough, but um, I just love the color I get out of theirs. Their green pumpkin, I love it, and I, I mean I go thick, I go dark with it. it. Just seems like the thicker, darker green pumpkins for me get a bit better. 
There's times I like a lighter one, but this is the uh, AR Crawl by Angling AI as well. Uh, I do some trimming up on it when I use it as a trailer. If I'm Texas rigging it or something, I'll leave that on there to help, you know, hide the hook a little bit, but I want as much stuff out of the way of the hook on a jig. Um, doesn't mean I'm right. Like I said, if anybody else jig fishes a lot, tell me what you like to do, how you do things. But uh, I like to trim these weed guards unless I'm pitching into heavy, heavy cover. I like to trim them. Yeah, all this out of the way, but I like to trim them back to where I come to the barb on the back of the hook. See that right there? To me, it gets it out of the way a little bit, but still lets it be a guard. Um, when I talk about setting the hook on these, when I'm talking about trying to break their jaw pretty much, you got a lot of stuff there. And uh, you can take and do your hula grub. I've done these as well. I got a skirt mold and you can take a heat knife, make a soft plastic skirt and fish them on a regular head, you know, a swim bait head, an head head, whatever you want to do. But you don't get the action that you get with these skirts. Uh, it just, it moves, it layers up in the water. I like to trim them. Uh, the finesse ones, I pretty much just trim straight across. These, I'll come up the sides and I'll cut at an angle. Leave the back just a little bit longer in the middle. And it still gives plenty of room for that hula grub to do its thing. Um, I just love the hula grub. It's a great trailer for these. Uh, I told you I bought one. Don't know why, but because my buddy JK, it's Christian Jigs, hand ties them. To me, if you look, sometimes store bought ones, you'll look and like your your hook may be offline or something like that. A lot of, I guarantee you somebody near you hand ties jigs or whatever, give them a shot because I'm telling you, it's quality, it's usually a small business, support them. And uh, we use Mustad hooks, uh, we used to use trocars, but man, they're so expensive. And to me, the Mustads are just as good um, and not near as expensive. So you can pass those savings along and you're not spending quite as much, but the jig body is hot right now. A little bit of orange in there. You got some with a little bit of red, some with a little blue. Uh, I'll fish a black and blue one as well. And I'll use a black trailer instead of the uh, green pumpkin. But these are the trailers that I like. Uh, you can use anything. A lot of companies make them too. I know Yamamoto's got some uh, Lost Creek, which is Sportsman's whatever, you know, they make a twin tail grub and they're all pretty good too. But I like again that I can make them the colors I want, the softness I want, the firmness I want, or whatever. Twin tail grubs for the win. I love them. Uh, the smaller, thinner appendages, like I said, I don't like a lot of stuff in the way because when you're jig fishing, you do have a lot more stuff in the way. And a lot of people fish these things different. Dragging right now is good, just drag it. Especially if you've got a lot of rock. Let that head hit the rocks as you're dragging it. And as soon as I feel that bite, I'm setting the hook. The hook sets are free and I'm freaking hammering on them because I, there's a lot to get through here sometimes. Um, I watch a lot of videos, go through a lot of things. We have a lot of spotted bass now, which isn't bad because they're finally growing and we're catching some good spots as well. But they seem to bite differently for me than a largemouth does. Seems like the spots want to come up, grab it, shake it a couple times, kill it, drop it, and then come back to it. So once they get it in their mouth, I don't play with them. I, I put the hammer on them right away. Uh, you may find a different way. But you can hop these things. The thing about these, this skirt material, is so lifelike, so much action. You're not jig fishing, especially as it's getting hotter. You can drag them through brush piles, off rocky points. They're catching shallow, they're catching deep, they're catching everything. But these are the trailers that I love. You may have some different ones. You may fish them differently than I do. Who knew? But hopping them's fine to you, hopping things along. Once they stop, this stuff just continues to give you that movement. 
Uh, that's why jigs are great. You never fished them, they're hot right now. They're starting to caught one, just spit up crawfish. There's a sign. So when they give you a sign, take it, take it and roll with it. And uh, big fish are being caught right now. Jigs to me just seem to catch quality fish. Uh, doesn't mean I'm right again. I'm never always right because I'm I'm just a half-ass fisherman like a, you know, like a lot of people. But you learn every day. That three and a half inch AR crawl, another great trailer. Love it. Uh, mainly the size. It reminds, it's, to me, it reminds me of a speed crawl. It's close to it. And uh, just a great bait. Great bait to use by itself. If you just want a Texas rig, drag it around. Use it so many ways. So these are the trailers I like. Doesn't mean they're the only ones or the best ones, but ones that I like. Um, to me, they just, they fit perfectly. And again, you can take some off if you've got a smaller finesse type. I don't really care much about the heads. Um, it can be a swim type head, it can be a round ball head. When I call my buddy Randall, I'm like, hey, uh, I need some jigs. Not 90, 75, 80, maybe 90%. They usually just round balls. Um, you can go with the footballs. I seem to get hung up more with the footballs. But all these are great trailers to use on them. If you're a big jig fisherman, let me know. Even if you're not, even if you're just learning. Let me know what you like, what you don't like about them. How you fish them. What you may do that's different than I do. But, I'm only letting you know that right now the jigs are hot. So, you get out there. Get you a jig tied on, man. Get you some good enough line where you can lay into them when they bite. I don't waste time with them. They bite, I yank. And I try to break their face pretty much. I mean, I slight line it, boy. But uh, mainly because there's so much to a jig, you know, you got to get through all that. And you want to make sure you've got a good hook set. So, if you've got any tips, any questions, anything, let me know. Like I said, I, I'm learning just like everybody else is every time I fish. Everybody you fish with is different. They do things differently, and uh, you'll learn from people. Even if you think you're a better fisherman than somebody, they've got a technique or something that they do that is probably what is working. So, if you got anything, man, let me know. I'm nosy. I want to learn about fishing all the time. I watch videos all the time. I'm learning I, just everything. But these are producing good bites right now, your jigs. And like I said, it's sweet. But we're catching them on shaky heads, spot removers. There's nothing last video. But it was like, hey, man, you, you, you fished that a lot on a spot remover. I do. I count that as a shaky. It's about the same. So it's a little bit shorter shank hook on the spot removers. But anyway, spot removers are shaky heads. That's what we're being caught on. Right now, the good bites, the quality bites are coming on jigs. So find you a local guy or, or buy some at the store. But support your local little guys and get you some quality jigs. Uh, that's about it. Can't think of anything else. So like I said, man, give me, a, give me an idea of what you like to do, don't do. But if you get out fishing, tie, tie a jig on and try it. Put your little trailer on there. The little crawlers are good because they're on crawfish right now. Like I said, catch one and spitting one up. There's your sign. Uh, the warmer it gets, seems to me the better the jig bite gets. <clears throat> and I like the three eighths so I can get it down there if they're deeper. You can catch them shallow. You can catch them on points with these in the mornings too or whatever. They're not just a deep water bait. They're they're shallow. They're deep. They're, you can use them for so much. Uh, brush piles, rocky points, all that. So get out there, make some trailers, or get you some from your local bait maker, or buy them at the store, or whatever, and put a jig on. Let me know how it turns out for you. You're gonna get some good bites. Y'all know the deal. It's hot as crap, but. I gotta go cut some grass, I'm gonna get all sweaty and nasty, but it's work. And I like to work because I like money and I gotta make it. So, uh, hope everybody has a great weekend coming up. And y'all know the deal. Let's go catch some fish. We'll see you.